A decade ago, I was living in CA and using herbs to combat anxiety, ADHD, and insomnia. My mom called. My father was diagnosed with stage 4 cancer. He was given six months to a year to live. I am close with my parents, and it was pretty devastating news. I took a leave to drive to Florida, where they had retired, to spend some time with them. I drove because I needed my medication and was really nervous about flying with it. My folks also don't approve of herbs or any sweeties, so having my car would give me a place to smoke privately. Three days of driving later, I arrived. Aunt and uncle, dad's rich pastor brother, were at the house. They announced they were paying for a Caribbean cruise for the whole family. The cruise was for 10 days and left in five days. I panicked. I began to desperately think of an excuse not to go because the thought of dealing with 10 days of no weed terrified me. The problem was that I had to head back home two days after the cruise, so my time with dad would be short. I could not come back out until summer and wouldn't forgive myself if that was too late. That's when I made a plan. This is where I fudged up. I read online that I needed a doctor's note for medications that were controlled substances and to declare them on arrival. I deduced that since I am from a state with legal medical herb, I could bring medicine on board. I am pretty creative with Photoshop, and I had some scans of medical documents, tests, and racy eps from my doctor. The issue and my downfall, these were records for my dad, from when they moved out east. We shared the same doctor in CA. We also share the same first and last name and middle initials so those I didn't need to change. Shortly, I had altered a treatment plan and a preception for my dad's gout to a medical herbs document for me. So I thought. The day of the cruise, I convinced my cousins to come an hour early with me to the port so I would not be boarding with my folks. I told them I had a prescription and some medication I didn't want to concern my folks with at this time. They pried. I told them it was for herbs. They gave me high fives. At security, I proudly produced my documents and my professionally packaged herbs. To my surprise, they took both bagged it and said it would go to the ship's doctor who would contact me. An hour later, everyone had boarded and the whole crew of us, 15 or 17 I think, were gathered on deck, all enjoying a drink and some snacks from the buffet while we waited for our rooms and luggage. The doctor and my medication were on my mind. Sure enough, my name is announced to report to medical. Everyone, including my dad, assumed it was for him, same name, and he gets up to go to medical. All I could think was to tell my mom to relax, and I went with dad. I hoped the receptionist would clarify it was for me and I would have a private covo with the doctor and get my medicine. I was wrong, very wrong. The nurse asked for my dad's ID. I identified myself as the son with the same name, but she just asked my dad if he wanted me to go into the office with him to speak to the doctor. Dad said yes, my stomach was in my throat. We waited in the exam room for a couple minutes and the doctor came in and sat down. He looked right at my dad and said, you're dealing with some very serious medical issues. I just spoke with your doctor and I am afraid that we are not equipped to deal with possible issues or complications on this ship. He continued that he would have to disembark within an hour and could not go on the cruise. He did go on to explain that he had called the CA doctor as he felt something was not right with the documents I had made. The receptionist asked for the patient number, which I neglected to change, and informed him that all the records had been forwarded to my dad's new doctor in Florida. The ship's doctor then called my dad's current doctor, who said my dad was really sick and had not returned urgent calls regarding his test results. I had never seen my dad so deflated. Doc produced my bag of medication and told me that if I was getting off the ship with my dad, I could pick it up at security when I left. I truly wished it was me who was dying in that moment. All I could say was, sorry, this is my fault. And we walked in silence. We went back up and joined the group. Dad took mom aside for a quick conversation, then they announced they were getting off the ship and wanted everyone else to enjoy the cruise. Everyone initially wanted to leave with them, but after some tears and hugs, it was decided that everyone would continue on. I opted to leave with my parents. I spent the next two weeks of at their home, it was some of the best bonding healing family time in my life. The story about the herbs came out to all, shock and awe in our religious clan. My folks actually told me I was free to smoke on the deck, they came to find it humorous. My uncle was furious. He came over after the cruise and found me and dad in the backyard. I had just lit some herbs, and my uncle started in on dad about family and respect. Dad took the herbs from my hand, took a small puff, looks at my uncle and says, my doctor said it might help my appetite. My uncle left, but he is not a bad guy, and he did call and apologize the next day. We enjoyed a few more herbs over the next days. I ended up sending a dad a few care packages from Cali and was able to spend three weeks with him in the summer. 
My dad made it to the following Christmas. Maybe as we approach Christmas, this story surfaced for me. Love you, dad. Miss you.